Before to create and configure our VPS, we need to be completely sure that we can interact with this. I mean, establish connections and establish that connections in the best secure way. So for this, and especially on Windows, we need to be completely sure that we have access to some commands which are related with SSH. SSH is basically a protocol to establish connections between two points, in this case, our computer, our system, and our VPS in the best secure way and don't rely on in the all secure or maybe insecure passwords. So as I said, if you open your command prompt, or I even recommend you if you are on Windows to use the PowerShell, you can issue SSH. And if it is recognized, well, congratulations, you already have this configure and enable. And additionally, we need to use SSH K generate. In fact, it is key gen. We can create SSH key to establish the connections. The good news here is that if you are on Linux or Mac, you probably have access to those comments. But if it is not your case, you are probably on Windows, I will show you how to do it. For that, we just need to go to internet and search for Git, specifically for Windows. And then we just need to download. And once we download, it's there, we start the installation and it is going to install Git in our system. But during the installation, we will have the possibility to enable additional commands based from Linux through something called Sigwin. So once we have this, we can run, click on next. You can use those options. We can use Notepad++ as an option to open the default editor for Git. And here we need to use the Git and the optional Unix tools from Sigwin. It is going to modify the path variable or the environment variable of our system and it is going to enable the SSH, SSH Cajun and any other commands based on Linux on our system. So please pick this last option, click on next. We are going to use OpenSSH. The same here, use the OpenSSH library and we will stick with the checkout window style. Then we need to use the Windows default console, which might be the PowerShell or the command line. Click on next, and you can optionally enable the file system caching, the credentials manager, and especially the symbolic links. Once you click on install, it is going to install Git, which is not very important for this course, but mainly it is going to enable those commands for us. So once the installation is done, we will need to open a new command prompt or a new PowerShell instance, not use the same we opened previously, we need to open a new one to take into account the changes in our path environment. So just finish and open again a new PowerShell. And this time, if you issue SSH or issue SSH Khan, it should work for you. You can press Ctrl C to cancel the creation of the Cajun because we are going to do it later. So for now, you should now have this enabled in whatever system you are, Windows, Linux, etc. Remember, if you are on Linux or Mac, you don't need to install this, but you can if you prefer, but it is not absolutely required because as I said, you should probably have access to SSH and SSH Cajun, which are the commands we are mainly going to use to establish secure connections to our VPS. See you in the next class.